Here we are today with Dr. Frank Comstock, the doctor of lifestyle spectrum and SWAT fitness medical director. And we're here today to uh, talk about uh, hormone replacement therapies and who it's for and who it's not for. So Dr. Comstock, uh, welcome to SWAT fitness uh, video you. blog. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself and what your credentials are. Well, I'm a uh, physician and I'm board certified in anti-aging medicine. And we participate here in uh, diet programs, exercise programs, and hormone replacement programs for men and women. Um, Dr. Comstock, I've been on your hormone replacement therapy for about three years, and I feel really great yeah. uh, from the uh, therapy. But what is, what is hormone replacement therapy and who is it for? Well, we, we utilize uh, hormone replacement therapy for men and women of all ages, but most specifically, from the middle ages on, so from their 40s on up, uh, we utilize uh, testosterone and estrogen replacement for men and women as they show signs of hormone deficiencies with, with the aging process. Now, how would, how would one determine whether your hormones are, are low or high or, or even? Well, we usually start getting symptoms of uh, changes in energy levels or changes in uh, libido. Uh, changes in uh, response to exercise, for example, people are saying, geez, I'm on the same diet, I'm on the same exercise program, and all of a sudden I'm not getting the results I used to get. I'm either having trouble losing weight, or I'm having trouble getting stronger, just not quite getting the response that I used to get from my, my programs. So that's often the first things we'll see. Sometimes it's mood changes, like uh, onset of depression or mood swings, um, irritability, things that... Um, never used to happen or didn't happen very often or are happening more frequently. These can be signs of, of deficient hormones. Okay, so what's the first step if I come to you? What's the first step um, to determine whether my hormones are low? Well, we typically will start with uh, blood work, okay. get blood levels uh, specifically of testosterone in men mm -hmm. and estrogen and testosterone in women. Okay. And look at the labs, we try to um, keep the labs levels in a high normal range so that we correct any deficient uh, levels. Uh, so we start with the blood work. We also take you know history, we talk to you and say what's been going on, what are the changes you're seeing, and we try to correlate your symptoms with your uh, blood tests and then try to get, a, uh, get you on a program to help uh, replace the uh, deficient hormones. Okay, now there's a lot of you know, news about baseball players and athletes and everyone else taking uh, testosterone supplements and so forth. And it's making them huge and big, but as you see, I'm not huge and big, so tell me a little bit about that. Well, you're certainly strong and toned, and that's really the goal we're looking for. Um, with the athletes, the problem, of course, is they're using very high doses of, of synthetic hormones to try to uh, enhance performance. And the problem with that is just as we wouldn't give you overdose of a medication uh, for, for more effect, that's the, the problem with, with what they're doing is they're using is above normal levels. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily safe levels. Mm -hmm. And um, because of the abuse, it's kind of tainted uh, hormone replacement therapy in general. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then you mentioned synthetics. Mm -hmm. um, I think you also mentioned bioidentical. So what's the difference between the two? Well, it's a good question. Bioidentical hormones are simply exact replicas of human hormones. Synthetic hormones are really chemical substitutes for hormones. Mm -hmm. So they're prescription hormones that may be somewhat similar to, your, to uh, human uh, hormones, but are not identical. So they're going to have a higher uh, risk associated with synthetic hormones, more side effects with synthetic hormones, because they are different from what the body is used to utilizing. Mm -hmm. So I always tell patients that the beauty of bioidentical hormones is that we're measuring bioidentical hormones in your body, mm -hmm. and then we're going to use the exact same chemical, the exact molecule that we just measured, and give you a little bit more. Okay. So it's the same substance already present in the body. All right. Well, the hormones are going to help you with body composition. Okay. So what we find is as men, for example, produce less testosterone as they age, mm -hmm. that they gain more body, body weight they lose muscle mass, and they also can lose some bone density. Mm -hmm. So their body composition really changes in a negative way as their hormone level comes down. Mm -hmm. As we replace that hormone or add more uh, testosterone to you, 
we do see improvement. You will see improvement in, in your strength. You'll, mm -hmm. you'll see improvement in less body fat. Okay. So for sure, we, we want you on the exercise program, but the main point is you're going to get much better results on the exercise program when your hormones are no longer at low levels. Okay. Now, you also mentioned testosterone for, for women. Tell me a little bit about that. Okay. Well, women, um, their main hormone is, is estrogen, but women also make a, a decent amount of testosterone that helps also with their metabolism, with their, with their strength, with their bone density, and, and also with their brain function. So they have better focus, better, better concentration when their testosterone levels are, are replaced. Mm -hmm. So we certainly are aiming for a higher level in men, mm -hmm. but women benefit substantially if we just bring up their uh, testosterone level to a normal level for women. Okay. Now, speaking of something being normal, what's the normal range for a man for testosterone? Testosterone. Well, the trouble is in medicine, we, we take blood work and we say normal is, is essentially what would happen if we took a thousand people off the street, mm -hmm. measured their blood tests and said, oh, this is where, you know, the range that they, those thousand people fall in. Mm -hmm. So the testosterone level in most labs, normal is anywhere from 200 to a thousand. So, you know, very, very broad. Mm -hmm. So with hormone replacement, we're aiming for the optimal range which is in the high side of normal. Mm -hmm. So for example, for men, we want to see it 700 to 900 plus range. Mm -hmm. uh, in women with testosterone, we want to see it above about a blood level of about 50. Okay. So anywhere 50 plus in women, 50 to 70 to 80 is a, is a much better level. Okay. Now, and I've noticed also in the last three years since I've been doing the hormone replacement therapy, there's been new procedures that have come out since then. Mm -hmm. I know uh, we talked about gels, we talked about uh, injections and creams and so forth. Right. What, what do you recommend today? Well, we, you know, the first thing we recommend is the, is the bioidentical hormones, again, exactly what your body's producing. Mm -hmm. And then we, we uh, utilize uh, pellets and, uh, uh, and creams and trochies. So pellets are probably the most physiologic way to replace uh, hormones. They are bioidentical pellets. They're about the size of maybe three or four grains of rice mm -hmm. glued together, as an example. We implant them in the skin, uh, just uh, in the fat tissue under the skin, and they are slowly released into the bloodstream. So mm -hmm. they mimic very well the body's natural uh, production of hormones. Okay. Now, the creams do a, quite a good job as well. We rub those into the skin. They're absorbed into the f fat layer under our skin, and then from there released out into the bloodstream. Mm -hmm. um, the trochies are dissolved under the tongue, and then again, same thing, released into the bloodstream. Okay. And we also, as you mentioned, use injections mm -hmm. to try to um, get a sustained blood level response over, for example, a week's mm -hmm. time. So the goal with all these different modalities is to try to replicate the body as well as we can. Mm -hmm. Again, use bioidentical hormones and then administer the hormones in a way that mimics the natural uh, physiology. So of those, probably the pellets would be the superior method uh, because again, it replicates the body's releasing the hormones gradually into the bloodstream. Okay, now today uh, you did, uh, you performed the minor, well, minor surgery or uh, implants of the pellets for me. Right. And I noticed there wasn't any pain whatsoever. Um, I wasn't uncomfortable and it went very smoothly and it didn't take long. Um, is this the wave of the future for um, hormone replacement therapies? I really think it's going to be the wave of the future. It's been, pellets have been used um, in, in many countries since the early 40s, okay. 1940s. So it's been around a long time. Um, it's slowly becoming more common in the United States mm -hmm. and um, it, it just works really well. And as you indicated today, it, it, it takes us about you know, five, 10 minutes. Uh, it's a local injection of an anesthetic to numb up your area. Mm -hmm. Numb up the area just as we would if you had a dental procedure done. It doesn't take very long. Mm -hmm. And uh, the procedure itself, within about five minutes, we implant the pellets and they uh, gradually release a hormone for, for variable periods of time, anywhere from three to six months at a time mm -hmm. before you need another pellet insertion. Okay. Now, if I was interested in um, hormone replacement therapy, where could I go for this? Now you could go right here at Lifestyle Spectrum. Um, we have, we've been doing hormone replacement here since 2000. 
and we've been doing the pellets since uh, October of 08. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a great opportunity for you know people of all ages to come in and um, sit on with us and have a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Mm -hmm. And again, we'll go over your symptoms, see how you're doing, check your blood tests. And uh, if your levels are good, we'll leave you be. Mm -hmm. If there's uh, room for some improvement, then we ha you know, have a multitude of uh, solutions for you. Okay, now where is Lifestyle uh, Spectrum located? We're uh, 27 North uh, La Choya. Okay. Right next to SWAT Fitness. 